hello everybody. Um, I'm making this quick video because I'm really so angry with Rishi Sunak, our Prime Minister. Um, he, he said he was going to be more pragmatic uh, uh, about um, net zero. But in actual fact, he, he's, um, he's a wolf in sheep's clothing. He, he is basically just a liar, really. Um, you know, let's let me explain now what, what is happening and what's just happened yesterday in the Parliament when they pass through a law. Let me explain the law very simply. Every car manufacturer in the UK has got to supply 22% electric cars this coming year. If they fail to do that, let's say they can only supply 15% or 10% because it's subject to demand, then for every one they don't supply basically because they're supplying diesel instead, there's a penalty of up to £15,000 per car. So in effect, you're adding a £15,000 cost to each of those diesels that were sold instead of electric. The following year, it rises to 40 odd percent until eventually 2030, you get to 80 percent or so. So this is an impossible situation. And what it means is that the manufacturers who can't I can't even make maybe or supply those cars because the public don't want them. They can buy credits. And who do they buy them from? They can buy them from electric car manufacturers like Tesla or the Chinese can come in with electric cars. And because they're 100% electric, that what they're selling, they can um, sell credits. So um, they'll have, in the first year, they'll have 80% or so, 78% of the credits to sell to, to the poor petrol and diesel car manufacturers. And by 2030, it's all over. But immediately, there's going to be this huge, huge problem. What it boils down to is this. You won't be able to afford a diesel or electric car, nor be able to buy one come 2030. So all this idea of extending to 2035 and being pragmatic is rubbish. And there are a number of MPs who voted. It's the biggest revolt so far of Tory MPs. And at the end of this video now, I'm just going to list all those Tory MPs who rejected this and who saw the light. Rishi Sunak is a WF puppet as far as I'm concerned. He's a net zero fanatic and he doesn't give a damn about you people who are going to be suffering from things like this. We have got to get rid of him. And by the way, don't think Labour, don't think for one moment Labour any better. They are worse. They're worse because they supported it. Well, well, in addition, of course, uh, there aren't enough materials in the world to do this. But there aren't enough minerals and so on to make these electric cars. Uh, so, the, the, as you put, exert this huge demand on onto the world, you're going to get the mineral prices just skyrocketing. It really is a form to do away with cars, but the effect of it, of this particular stupidity, is is to actually transfer a subsidy to the electric side and penalise anyone's up to £15,000 a car, anyone buying, an ele uh, buying a diesel or petrol car. I, I mean, this is, this is a snake in the grass. This really is. And, and for him to come and say he's going to be pragmatic and all these words of wonder, and the polls went up a little bit for him then, of course, he didn't mean it. He just did not mean it. He, he is a fanatical WEF uh, a globalist. End of subject. Let's get rid of him and don't put anyone in power who's going to support net zero. Just don't. It's as simple as that. I'm not going to tell you which party, but only parties. I know they're smaller parties, but we've got to make them bigger parties. We've got to return this our, our country to sanity. I try to stick to climate. I try to stay out of politics, but I've got, I only interfere with politics in as much as it affects the madness of net zero and the climate issues, as it were. Um, and of course, I was able to shame my MP in the Romanian parliament. That's the MP, Simon Hart, the chief whip in my case, who, who can't even uh, had, well, can't even divide one number by another to help me expose the wind and solar farm scam. 
where they make ridiculous claims about how many homes they can supply. So when they say 10,000 homes, for example, they really mean 10,000 homes providing 80% are supplied by gas and providing we have 100% gas backup for when the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining. We live in a mad world. I just can't get over it. I know I'm rambling on, but I'm angry and I just want to shut this video out very quickly. Oh, by the way, I did make a video about these subsidies coming. And when he announced the 2035 extension, I thought, well, he's got to change them. He's got to change how he's going to do this 20%, 40% and up to 80%. Got to change it. No, he hasn't. I I'm amazed. Okay, bye-bye. I'll uh, quickly get this video out now. Bye.